Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm sharing a buffet table set up for Cinco de Mayo. This actually is something that you guys requested, so I'm gonna do my best to share some easy, affordable decor and also some delicious recipes. The links for all the exact recipes will be in my blog post on the stylemysweets.com website. There will be a link for that in the description box down below. Okay, so getting started, I've got my three favorite three-tiered stands as well as a beautiful, bright and colorful table runner here. I'm also using some of the gorgeous colorful glass bottles that Dollar Tree carries along with some of the faux succulents from Dollar Tree as well. Cactus are the perfect addition for this table. I'm even using some of my little air plants in here. So I'm actually using these two um, like cactus succulent grasses here from Dollar Tree that come on the little clips and I just clipped the darker one right onto the green one and this made a little base to help it stand up. And I'm just gonna hide that right in here in between, whoops, in between the placemat and the plate. Plates are also from Dollar Tree. Looks super cute. I'm also thinking about adding something. I got this little vase here on clearance in Home Goods, I think it was. And I think it's really pretty. I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna use some vases and things like that for extra decor on the table. I'm using a glass trifle bowl for serving this Mexican street corn salad. I actually found the recipe on Pinterest and it is so delicious. Of course, I had to have guacamole, which for me has to be fresh. I don't know what it is. I just don't like any of the store pre-made ones that I've tried before. I definitely like to do it fresh. In fact, this is way off topic, but there's a restaurant in Tucson called Guadalajara. I have not been there for a few years, but many of the reviews and local people in Tucson, Arizona said it is one of the best places in the area to get authentic Mexican food. And oh my goodness, everything I have ordered from there was absolutely incredible. I seriously cannot wait till the next time we're in Tucson. That's like our number one place to visit. Anyway, wow, I got way off on a tangent there, but oh yeah, guacamole. Guadalajara's guacamole and salsa is so delicious. And anyway, I like to recreate it and I always do fresh salsa and guac myself now. So I found these cute little plastic mocoyete salsa bowls on Amazon. They're basically just like a mortar and pestle and these might be perfect if you wanna have individual serving bowls for each person. But personally, I decided to purchase a granite stone mocoyete since I make salsa or guacamole at least a couple times a month and it's usually just for like our family so I thought the size would be perfect and I'd rather have like the real thing and something that's more useful as a kitchen investment that I can continue to use but either way I will have both types of these listed down below for you to check out if you're interested with the real granite mocoyete bowl you want to wash it with water only and they also tell you to grind up some white rice in there before using it and then also to grind up garlic cloves cumin and pepper I think it was um, we went ahead and did avocado in here with some tomato garlic salt pepper I even added in a tiny bit of cilantro and red onion and it tasted so so amazing. I didn't even add any lime juice this time like I usually do. If you love guacamole, leave me a comment below and let me know, do you make it yourself? What do you add into it? Or where do you like to buy it from? I would love to know what your favorite is. For an appetizer, oh my goodness, these were so yummy. You start the filling with a cup of chopped cabbage. I'm using this one with cabbage and carrot from Trader Joe's and just chopping that up a little bit smaller. The recipe calls for marinating uncooked shrimp for the top in a bag with olive oil and taco seasoning mix, which I didn't have, but I usually substitute for with cumin and chili powder instead. Today, I only had cooked shrimp on hand and I completely forgot to marinate it first so I'm just gonna do this on very low heat in the frying pan to warm and season the shrimp on here this recipe has lime juice cilantro avocado and sour cream in here and you're just filling some of the little scoop tortilla chips for a bite-sized appetizer that is absolutely full of flavor Again, links to all the websites where I found all these recipes today will be in my blog post, so check the link for that down below if you're curious about making any of these. 
I also made pineapple kiwi lime margaritas and can you believe this is the first time I've ever tried to make margaritas? I think they came out really good though, but you guys know I'm always making projects with glasses and items from Dollar Tree. My dad was joking and asking me if I pulled apart some of my Dollar Tree DIY decor pieces that I've made using these Dollar Tree margarita glasses before. And I had to reassure everyone I did in fact purchase these new at Dollar Tree and that no DIY crafts were deconstructed for the creation of these pineapple kiwi margaritas. They came out so delicious though, and we thought that it went really well with this menu. I used two types of tortillas. One was wheat flour, and one was like a corn wheat mix, which I really liked. And we also decided to do both a beef mixture as well as chicken, peppers, and onions. I actually like to buy the frozen chicken pieces that you get a bag of in Trader Joe's, and they also have a bag of frozen peppers at Trader Joe's. And when I need to save time, I can just slice up an onion with a little bit of olive oil, chili powder, cumin, some salt and pepper to taste, and then throw in the frozen chicken and peppers and make that sauce like that all together. It makes a super fast meal when we're in a hurry. And I decided to do that today and just share that idea with you guys as well. Let me know what you think of this table. Do you celebrate Cinco de Mayo at all? Will you be enjoying any favorite Mexican food, drinks, restaurants on that day? Or do you think that you might give any of these recipes a try? I always love to hear from you and read your comments. And also, I forgot to mention, I found this vinyl paper in Hobby Lobby that I was thinking you could incorporate into the design and the layout of your table, perhaps cutting it to use as like a dish or tray liner to put cups of food or appetizers on. And a couple ideas for dessert, I wanted to share these angel food churro bites with you guys, which seemed so perfectly fitting and were super quick and easy to make also. But if you want to have something like cupcakes or even brownies, you could always use some colorful cupcake liners to place your desserts in or even make some cute cupcake toppers with some adorable stickers. I found these in Hobby Lobby. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you enjoyed it. Also, any other video requests you have, I keep a list of whatever you request and I'll do my best to get to as many of them as I can. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a beautiful, blessed day and I hope to see you all soon in the next one. Bye.